it was a second that Matt had heard before they began with the same words that had haunted him when he had been alone at Ives Hall. Nob, nob, from me, mob, en, en, me, neve, ah, natra. But, but now that he was so close to them, Matt could make. out what they were saying and suddenly he understands i assumed they were speaking in latin or greek but it was much simpler than that it was an old witch's ritual they were reacting the lord the lord's prayer backwards might try to ignore them he was aware of the grooming energy beneath him as the nuclear reactor Reads critical mass. He know he had to choose to close his mind to all of it. Why hadn't he he'd be able to break the vase in Richard's flat? Why couldn't he open the door? Then he was Miss Devereux's prisoner. What was he doing wrong? The mumbling filled the room, rising above the soft yum yum of the ventral system Sir Michael held the knife tightly in both hands waiting for the moment when he when he when he would bring it down this spread over his face Matt would Matt found himself transfixed by the silver blade this whole business had begun with a knife the one that Kevin had used to wound the security guard. It seemed that it would end with one to think about the knife concentrate concentrate make it make it stop lying on his back. Matt tried to unlock the power that he knew was inside him, but it was no good. Sir Michael was in control. He was smiling to himself as he whispered the words of the invocation, Matt could see the sweet on his upper lip. He was going to enjoy this whole life had built up, but built life, but life had built up to it. Underneath the guard of the guard, the ground control rods moved slowly upwards as they lift the core of the reactor. <laughs> the neutrons rust around the enclosed container traveling at hundreds traveling at hundreds of miles per second smashing into each other releasing incredible heat and as the control rods rose so did raven's gate richard had managed to free one hand but the other was still trapped and he was fighting desperately with the rope but seeing what was happening he stopped totally shocked the great stones destroyed centuries ago were rising out of the floor like monstrous plants there were 18 control rods and there was 18 stones each one sli sliding up in the next position that it had once occurred they were ghosts passing through the floor without touching it but even as Richard watched they slimmed, trimmed, trimmed become more solid as they grew taller already they were toweling above the villagers forming a new circle behind them in a few seconds they would be extra 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 as they had been and richard no with a terrible centrally that it would be be then that the knife would fall the old ones would break free matt saw all this and closed his eyes the more he was drawn into events around him the less control he would have there there he would have was there nothing he could do he had smashed the jug of water it hadn't been a dream he had 
done it, but how desperately he, he tried to remember how he had felt when he was in the destination centre. What had made him different? Why did why had it worked then? The whispers growl louder. Now something even more te incredible was happening. The clover floor inside the circle had changed. The black and white cheeks had been. I hope I get 4,000 lots of us. Washed away by a glow of light red. Seemed to be shining through from underneath the glow become brighter, the colour more vivid until it was like a vest pool of blood, suddenly a crack. Deep, deep and black cut a jagged path across the reactor cap. The gate was breaking up. Matt opened his eyes one last time. There was Richard standing outside the circle. Still struggling with the rope, there were Jane and Claire Devril watching with something close to his es to escape to see the, the ceiling as industrial lamps and silver pipes the observation room with the villagers passed forward rotting through the glass grass glass the flames of the black candles flickering and swaying and the floor a speak of darkness had appeared. In the red mat, Matt crayed his neck so that he was looking down the length of his body and beyond the floor had become transparent. He was looking through it into another world. The speak moved it for the speak moved it was climbing, climbing, flying, swimming upwards at the, an incredible speed. For a second he could make out a shape, some, some sort of creature, but it was too fast. The blackness welled up, bolting out the red, red flushing it aside in a chaos. Swelling bubbles, a brilliant, a bright white stake surts across the surface of a pool. The black thing brushed it away with and with a shoulder map, saw what it was a huge and the monster had owned it must have been a, as big as the reactor itself he could see its fingernails sharp and scurry and he could make out with a right a winkling skin or its webbed fingers it had placed is its fist against the barrier and the crimson bubbles were exploding around it. <laughs> as, as it searched for the strength to put, punch its way through, Matt closed his eyes and suddenly out of nowhere the answer come. The smell of a burning that, that was what I had triggered is power is had smiled burning when he was sinking into a bog. The small and had been there in the destination center when he broke the drug and even before that, long before that, now he remembered remembered his mother had burnt the toast on the morning of the accident that had killed her. Somehow, that tiny accident had become the trigger. He had smelled burnt toast. He had smelt burnt toast with pot burnt toast a moment before the security guard had appeared in the warehouse. He had known what was about to happen. He stopped trying to influence the knife. He, he stopped try, trying to turn something else inside himself. Instead, he thought back. To six years ago, he was eight years old. Old again, in old again, sitting in the kitchen in South London subway for just a second. A single frame in a film. He saw the yellow painted walls. There was the kitchen cupboard, the teapot shaped like a teddy bear, and his mother 
come from Matthew were going to be late. He had her voice and smelled it once again. The toast burning inside the nuclear, inside the new, inside the nuclear reactor. The whispering had stopped. The giant, the giant stones of Ravensgate had, had had returned. They stood almost touching the dome of a power station there. One flinty surface almost touching the dome of a power station there. One flinty surface, thousands of years old metal plates. That what the Raven's Gate. A raven that what Raven's Gate is the supernatural adventure of the most thrilling kind for times. Subscribe if you like, thank you. Click on my screen.